Wine Wednesday and I think this is the perfect day to tell you what wine you can enjoy with your bride. I'm Jennifer Sanasi, you're watching News 24 Live. I'm joined in studio by Food 24's wine expert, Kathy Marston, and she's going to introduce us to Debar Shiraz. Hello. Hi. Yeah, this is very exciting. This is a new label for me. I only heard of it um, not long ago when I was at the Elim Wine Festival. Were you I was there? also there. I know, yes. <laughs> it's very cool. Um, this is a really interesting area, and it's a really interesting set of winemakers. Mm -hmm. And this actually isn't from Elim. It's mm -hmm. actually from um, Napier, or Napier, I'm not quite sure how you pronounce Which it. Which is, I think, 30 minutes away from Very, Elim. very yeah. close, yeah. absolutely. So what they're trying to do, because Elim is, is quite a sort of a small area, there's only about four or five wineries, and they're, they're basically trying to create a whole um, awareness of what they're calling the Southern Cape Triangle. So all down in sort of the Cape Agullis region, so you've got Cape Agullis, you've got Elim, you've got Napier, you've got all those sort of people around, you've got Malchas as well. Mm. Um, and they're trying to create a whole um, uniformity for these really cool, cool, cool climate wines. I really am enjoying my cool climate wines of late, So I nice, must say. Hey? Yeah, and what happens, particularly when you grow reds down there, um, you can struggle to ripen them, so you have to be careful for which grape varieties you choose but if you do manage to ripen them they, they ripen very slowly and that gives them beautiful um, perfume and spiciness particularly for Shirazes so um, I think that's what we're going to get on let's this wine let's try. have a sniff and see oh yeah there Very we go <laughs> big time pepper isn't it and and I don't know the the chemistry behind this because I know nothing about chemistry whatsoever but um, I, I have definitely read that this this very very strong black and white pepperiness is something that comes out in cool climates you'll mm -hmm. find it in the northern Rhone as well very very strongly so I'm not at all surprised we're finding mm. it in this one let's have a taste see if it comes through on the palate mm. now lovely. the pepperiness is there but mm. it's not overpowering no. for me it isn't. There's some lovely smoke in there, mm -hmm. and there's some beautiful berries, some really mm. nice berried fruits, some black, some red berries, a little bit of plums and some cranberries. I think that's delicious. Mm. It's really, really nice. Divine. Now, we've paired this with a bra. I think you can't of go wrong with a nice have. red wine with your red meat on the bra. Absolutely. What kind of meat would go with it? Well, I think, you know, you can, can't go wrong with a, a really good, well-aged piece of steak. Mm, I think yeah. very nice. Um, and if you want to sort of, you know, really go and try and match it up here, you can roll it in peppercorns. You've got to be careful that you don't overwhelm it and overdo mm. it. But um, I think, you know, just nice and simple, rub it some olive oil, a little bit of salt, some cracked black pepper on the bra, off you go. Very nice. We're buying this wine Wednesday. We hope you have a great day and we'll see you next week.